Hi there, welcome to Tap Room Tales. We're here with John Stan of Adventure Brewing Company. They're going to be opening up in Stafford very soon. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Thanks for having us. So, uh, so first thing to mention, you guys actually had to get a law change to uh, open up your facility. Tell us a little bit about that. That was that was a surprise, of course. Uh, you know, early on. We started working with the, uh, the Stafford County government, and we started asking them what it would take to, to open up a brewery in Stafford. Of course, uh, the response was, well, we can't open up a brewery in Stafford right now. The laws just don't work that way. Yep, please do. So we, we followed up with that uh, immediately with what do we need to do to make sure we can to open up a brewery. Um, that, that, of course, moved forward slowly. But boy, was Stafford County good about doing it. Um, everybody loved it. Everybody's up for getting us uh, excited about having a brewery. So we walked it through procedurally. It started with the planning committee. You know, this can get really boring, but it, it goes through each section of the government has to have their piece. So they talk about it, do their thing, uh, vote on it, do public comment, and then finally. I believe it was uh, in September, the uh, Stafford Board uh, Supervisors approved it and we were finally on our way. Solid. So what are you guys going to be focusing on as far as your beers? Are you going to be lagers, ale, something, you know, both of them, or have you guys thought about it? We've watched a lot of breweries uh, come in, especially the, the starting ones, and the small ones like us, uh, go in and, and try to do a whole lot of different things to start with and, and, and not have a feature of focus. We have four. We have a uh, pale ale, we call it our superpower pale ale. We have a, uh, our, a wheat, our backpack wheat, uh, an IPA, it's an expedition IPA, and a uh, stout, and it's stiletto stout. Um, just four staple beers we'll have year round uh, from uh, as soon as we can start growing them. Uh, I guess till the cows come home. Alright, solid. Are they going to be more session or are they going to be more be careful what you do with it? Ours, uh, most of ours float at, uh, at, at where you would expect them. They're very session in nature. The pale ale is five and a half to six percent. The wheat is certainly in the same range. The IPA is a little bit higher, um, six and a half, maybe six and three quarters. And then the um, and the, uh, the stout runs about, runs about five and a half as well. Okay. So, so uh, what are y'all's backgrounds in general? Because uh, you know Tim, he uh, he's not here today. Right. As, but uh, what? Do you, how'd you guys get involved in this? You know, what was your background beforehand? Well, uh, yes, I'm a I'm a human resource manager in human resources for about 15 years. Um, I started home brewing probably about 10 years ago. Um, just a really great hobby for me and uh, Stan and I met uh, because our children are of the same age and we started home brewing together uh, and then we met Tim and uh, you know, the three of us started home brewing together and it was one of those things where the longer we did it the more we enjoyed it and you know every home brewer talks about opening a brewery at some point I mean, we, everyone talks about it and um, so we decided to kind of wait a little bit. We said, we're going to do this for a year. We're going to brew really heavy for a year. Like sometimes even when we don't feel like it. If we're still having fun, then we know we're on to something. You know, so we did that for like a year. And you know, at the end of the year, we looked around and we're like, yeah, man, I'm still having fun. This is something that we've got to do. Um, you know, so we started doing the research and you know, getting our funding together and, you know, here we are getting ready to open. Okay, so, so, so human resources, so, you know, I guess from a human resources standpoint, why was doing it in Stafford County a good idea? Well, to be honest, knowing you had to get the law changed to even do that. Right. Well, to be honest, I mean, we wanted to open where we live. Okay. Right. And and, and really kind of get involved with the local community. The three of us had worked really hard to establish a brewing community in Stafford, you know, with the Stafford Brewers Club and some of the other things. And and you know, we didn't want it to be you know something that skips over Stafford, you know, again. <laughs> you know, it's like a lot of things, a lot of cool stuff kind of goes to some other areas of the state. We're like, you know what, we've got a great community here. Let's demonstrate that and, and, and demonstrate that commitment to our local community. Oh, so, 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 so local first. Right, exactly. So what is the, the game plan for Adventure? And along with that, why the name Adventure Brewing Company? 
So, um, the interesting thing about the name, so one of those things is, the name was something we all felt we kind of had to agree on, so most of the decisions we make, majority rules, but we figured the name had to be unanimous. And there were many, many meetings to discuss the name. And generally what would happen is we would all have a couple of beers and then like nothing would get decided. So we had this one night where we kind of all got together and started, seriously, no one's leaving until we come up with a name. And, um, you know, we just decided on Adventure Brewing was like one of the first names that came out. And it was just because of, you know, the adventurous nature of, of the owners and the founders. Um, you know, we like to do things outdoors, we like to be active. Um, and the whole idea, we'd like to be adventurous in our brewing. And, you know, the name just kind of came together and it stuck. All right, awesome. So, you know, last question for you guys. You know, what, where do you want to see this go? What is the ultimate goal of Adventure Brewing? How long do you all plan on doing this? I think as originally stated, it was to take over the world. Right, right. absolutely. <laughs> right. Uh, but fundamentally, we, we hope, uh, like anybody hopes, we hope in, in, a, uh, in, in a few years, in a short period of time, uh, to be a, a player in the in the region, um, we certainly hope to grow the grow the brewery so that we are recognized for quality uh, quality beer and and certainly are in a wider area than than just our local staff. All right, awesome. We'll hope to see you guys at uh, maybe some competitions like uh, Great American Beer Festival and stuff soon, possibly. Uh, try. Hopefully, <laughs> try. hopefully right. by next year we'll be there. All right, awesome guys. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.